Just these guys out here. <laughs> we're going to national TV. Oh, barely. I was going to work for a woman up there years ago, Mrs. Eleanor Sears. Miss Sears. She passed away. She has a farm up there, a horse farm. They were saying that all you people in Boston. We wanted to see Davey. Really? Well, they say we have, a, how do we say, park the car, different things like that. Hi, Frank. Hey, Wallet, this is right up your well, alley. I, I don't think we realize it because we've been talking National like this all television. of our life. So how do you talk? Are you from Boston? Well, no. How do you say park the car? Park the car. Park the car. Sounds like me. Sounds like you? She's from... Uh, Are you from New Jersey? No, she's Once. from... Once. Jersey. <laughs> Philadelphia? No, New Jersey. New oh. York. Oh, oh, New York. Brooklyn. Where all Brooklyn. the gangsters no, are. No, they don't talk like that. They got the Brooklyn. Irish Mafia up yeah, in Brooklyn. Yeah. What happened to the Irish Mafia? You know mafia that? In Brooklyn? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> They're not your people. <laughs> They're not your people? Why? How, what is your people? Italiano. Oh, my God Almighty. They're good. I'm married to a Sicilian girl. That's it. That's why I have to learn to talk right. <laughs> do me a favor and go over to Charlestown and get my check. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Where did you grow up? Charlestown, Mass. And you still live there? Still live there. Born and raised. Do you think there's a special accent or a way that, that... Can you tell somebody's from Charlestown by the way they talk? Not by the way they talk. No. I don't no. believe so. Even over here. Not even salty, no. Not even salty. Born and raised and salty and uh, going to die in there. Nothing like it. I imagine the people that are just born in Boston don't realize anybody else talks different, even though they're in the same... come from different neighborhoods. Yeah. What, what about Beacon Hill? Beacon Hill Beacon might Hill. because you, on me. Because you have <laughs> Excuse uh, me. <laughs> you have what they call a white collar worker for years. It's not the new now a white collar worker. They've had them in there for years. They come in from other states because it's so beautiful a state in Beacon Hill section and all the money is up there. Uh, condominiums go for three million dollars. It's if it was passing the the check to you to pick it up where you were eating over a restaurant or something. Sure they do, uh, people. Yeah, we have them now. Uh, they're in uh, his section of Boston, and my section, and they're all buying condos, and they all got earphones on, and they come from Brooklyn, and they come from New Jersey, and they come from Chicago. And why do they like it over here? Because it's peaceful over here in this section. You can walk down the street at night in Charlestown or South Boston, and East Boston. <laughs> It's safe. Not like New York Times Square. No. Years ago, they used to talk different in Beacon Hill because they went to different, you know, the colleges, different Harvard. Different yeah, there was all different, different colleges around things like that. Around here, see? Well, we hear about the Boston Brahmin. Pardon me? How did they sound when they talk different? Well, they had they, they Something had like this young lady is talking you know, right they, now. How the Kennedys so talked. Like they went twing to, on the end. They went to yeah, prep yeah, schools yeah. and different colleges. Yes, and Newman some Trump of the Some there. of the girls went to Radcliffe. And Radcliffe. Where's the Usually, you had to speak through your nose, you they, know. But we never did that. We went we to public did. schools. We went to public <laughs> schools, or parochial schools. Did, did you ever want to talk like the way they talk? No. I sometimes I put them on and everything, and I might do that. I said, "Park your car." <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Get this guy over here. That's a school ball business yeah. agent. Yeah. <laughs> No, why, why, why would I want to talk like that? No. They, would they want to talk like uh, we talk? No. no. I think they make fun of the way they talk. Uh, yeah, they, they could, but uh, I do that too myself when I go over there. Now, I'll be over in town today, and I said, beg your pardon. <laughs> hey, I'll give them the same business. I got to go. I got to do something. Hey, uh, I got to see him this afternoon. Uh, Mr. Dalton, the other president, that, uh, about that list of names for the... For the money for, uh, oh, all right, okay. Leo Farrell, God Thank bless. You. Did you get his name? Are you gonna put this on TV? <laughs> what the hell do you mean, you might? Now you're gonna get me. You want different talk now? I'll give you different talk. No, they might make fun of it over here, but uh, it doesn't bother us. They're no better than us, and we're no better than them. What the hell? Never bothered me. No, that's all. Yeah.
Now, do you notice that uh, all over the country, as far as California, as far as Texas, and up in the Montanas, and in New York, and Chicago, and New Jersey, they all come to Massachusetts to get an education. <laughs> You'd be surprised at Boston University's got about 15,000 enrollment now. That's all the night and day classes. You'd be surprised how many come from New York or New Jersey. Yeah. Can you tell them? Yeah, I can. Sure can. I'll give you an experience. I was working one time for the mail. Make sure you write this down and put it in there. And I was picking <laughs> up a box inside a dormitory over there in BU. And a young lady come from New York come running down and she gave me a letter. She says, I want to make sure I get, uh, mailed this. She didn't have it even written out there. And she wrote it out to me. Dear Mama, Dad, do it fine, send me a hundred. Love, Susie. I mailed the letter. That's a true story. That's a true story. Believe me. You? I tell you, the toughest one for me when I was in the service five years was uh, Mississippi and Georgia. They had a certain way of talking that, uh, boy, you know how to have a knife to cut it, like trying to cut butter. They would, uh, couldn't understand them. Couldn't really understand them, but you all couldn't get, couldn't get a drift of their talk uh, during a, all the time in the service with them. Good people and everything, but some of them didn't know how to take a bath. And, see, I said ball. You see that? <laughs> that's putting it on. I'm just pulling your leg. Do they understand you? Most certainly, dear. No problem. No problem. I don't talk with a whisper, do I? He could be standing over there with that and everything to pick me up. It's like radar. All right, you all done now? Okay. Uh, an address, so when this 101 airs, Fargo Street. 101 Fargo, F-A-R-G-O. Yes, right F-A-R-G-O. Boston, Mass. Yes. And from the area about uh, uh, how they talk. Well, I talk all right, don't I? <laughs> well, oh, well, we just met, I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, I always speak well of you. <laughs> what do you think of uh, the way people talk in Boston? Why? Well, they have their own slang. It's just like they have in New York and every other place. I think they talk very good. Different neighborhoods, by the way, people talk? Uh, a few you can tell the difference. Like, you can tell people from Dorchester or even from Mattapan and uh, where they come from. Oh, yeah. Neighbor, Roxbury. What neighborhood are you from? I'm from South Boston. You can always, can you always tell somebody from South Boston, even if you met them in another part of the world? Oh, sure. Sure. Their nose always goes up in the air. Think, um, has anybody ever told you you have an accent? Sure, when I meet people from around, around the country, like someone from Texas, they say, you're from Boston. You park your car in a backyard and play cards. That's what they say. What about people anyway. on uh, Beacon Hill? You know, uh, cross, well, cross yeah, well, you meet people, I mean, they have a little uh, uh, tootie tootie, you know, and up they, they, they kind of look down at you. <laughs> Oh yeah, they talk differently. Yeah, yeah they have that, that more like a more polished. Does that ever make you feel bad? No. <laughs> Don't make me feel. Do you make you feel superior? <laughs> me? Yeah, I'm old. Sure, I always feel superior. Why not? Is, is there ever a time when it's to your advantage to kind of play up your accent a little bit? Uh, I never really noticed that. I never, like I said, never really go around broadcasting. <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Hi, uh, my name's George McAvoy, and I've lived in uh, South Boston approximately 25 years. So I went into the Air Force, and um, after the Air Force, I moved to Dorchester, which is part of Boston. I'm married. Uh, my wife is named Marge. I have two kids, George and Christopher. And I'm presently working as a longshoreman, where I've been for uh, 10 years. I um, have a lot of hobbies, uh, photography, and um, I coach soccer in South Boston. I, um, 
I freeze. Okay, no, that was I go good. blank. No, that was really good. No, that's, no, that's good. Let's, let's try once more. Okay. Good shot. All right, George, whatever you're ready. Hi, uh, my name's George McAvoy, and I, I grew up and I lived in South Boston for 25 years. Um, I now live in Dorchester. I'm married. I have two children. First, I better mention my wife. <laughs> She'll kill me. Uh, her name is Marge, and I have two children, George uh, Jr. and Christopher. Um, I'm a longshoreman. I've been down here for about 10 years. I'm a veteran of the Air Force. I was in the Air Force four years. I um, do a lot of stuff to keep myself busy. Um, I'm a photographer. I have, um, I used to jump out of airplanes, hang glide, and I, <laughs> I, Hi, my name is George McAvoy. I grew up in South Boston, and now I live in Dorchester. I'm married and I have two children. My wife is named Margie, and I have two sons, Christopher, who's one year old, and George, who's three years old. I, uh, I coach soccer in South Boston. When my um, son plays, I throw back. My brother's over there making faces at me. Alright, we'll just try that again. Okay, that was, say, that I'm was George good. McAvoy, don't hold the go right into your day. Go right into it, yes. Okay. Alright, we'll the last one. But my name is George Ma hi. My name's George McAvoy. Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. You okay. actually did pretty good this one. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Hi. My name is George McAvoy. I grew up in South Boston. And I live in Dorchester. <laughs> um, my Hi, my name is George McAvoy. I live and grew up in South Boston, and now I live in Dorchester. I'm married. My wife is named Marge, and I have two boys, um, George the third who's three years old, and Christopher, who's one. I am presently a longshoreman, and I work in the Port of Boston, and I've done this for about 10 years. I was also in the Air Force for four years. I have a lot of hobbies. Um, among them is um, uh, photography, and um, I do downhill skiing in the winter. I coach a Manison men's softball team in South Boston, and I coach um, a soccer team for three to six-year-olds in South Boston. And that's fucking... Okay. Okay.